world where the Skoda T25 is boxy. I didn't think it could get any boxier until I equipped the turret. Dun dun dun. But hey guys, what's up? Twin Shadow back here today. Just thought I'd do that quick intro for whatever reason. So I will uh, see you guys in the gameplay. Guys, we are in the countdown phase. And I think I'm going to go over the hill. The last few times I've gone over the hill, I've had pretty good luck. So, yeah, don't know what else to say other than we are in a tier 7. I know we're in a tier 6 we're match. One on tier road. 7. Those tier 7s have to feel special that they are the only two tier 7s in this entire match. While the rest of us are stuck down here at tier 6. So, if you guys or actually watching it past the terrible intro that I put on. You guys should tell me how the tears- Oh my god! That was amazing. I almost flipped on my side. Okay, but back back to my question. What is- how, how good is the tier 7 of the Skoda line or the Czechoslovakian medium tank line how good is it Ooh, we're gonna get a pop shot right here oh a little bit behind get a long shot. oh and it goes right over him i should have aimed that a little bit longer i thought that's going to 225 was gonna leave though okay, now that we're up here maybe we can get another shot nah we're just gonna go ahead and get up there and help our team But there's, there's two machine guns, guys, in the front of the tank. I mean, totally needed. But seriously, I can't, I can't get my head around this, how, how tanky the turret is. I mean, I knew it was tanky, but I didn't know it was that, that square, squarely or, or whatever. Cubic. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, hopefully we got two shots into the Kromi. I don't know though. It's like there's a lot of activity over there, but it's like we have our fair fight over here. 4v2 totally. Okay, there we go. Three. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. No, I derped that. My aiming was trash. Slow peek around here, get a few shots into the Skoda. We didn't penetrate their armor! We take a shot right into, like, I think his barrel. Don't know where else I would have hit him. The Krami is playing an aggressive position. Okay, I'm lost now. But, looks like that Cromwell is in need of support. I think we can just lay down coloring fire. I think that's all we can get out of here. Because there is a Hellcat over there. And with that Skoda T25, that is not a fight I want to be in. I will die so fast. I will have like 100 health after he unloads his clip onto me. No, it's just not a fight you guys want to be in. With a Hellcat and a Skoda T25. In a tier 6 match. Don't know what... Oh, okay, there we go. We have the crossing Skoda T25. Penetration. There we go. Penetration. Take the Skoda T25 down. Don't get a shot on him. Maybe we'll get a shot on the Hellcat. Doesn't look like it. I think it's about time we cross over and help that Krami out. Looks like we have a friendly Hellcat over here. Hopefully going through these bushes will keep me from getting shot. Don't know how well that would work, but... You know, it might. That, that's all we need to do have a bite, a chance to be victorious, and we made it. Unlike the poor Skoda, other enemy Skoda T25, we made it across the opening gap of death and destruction. Now we must cause death and destruction upon... Oh no, God. He got that shot into the Hellcat. That should not have gone in. Oh, that was stupid. We see his machine gun. Really, this thing is like made out of ammo racks. Like, if you hit the, any of the side of this tank, it's just an ammo rack. 
I mean, like seriously. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, poor Hellcat. Okay, well, I think we're gonna go help the Cromwell cap. Because if we can get on the cap, two people on it, I think that will win us the game since we have our team resetting it. So, yeah, as soon as I get on cap, we should be able to win this game for our team. The tier 7 on their team is still alive. I have two kills, didn't even notice it. 900 damage, this would be a great game to win. So, if I get on cap, that should cut it in about half. So, about, I think, 30 seconds. Nah, maybe 20. I don't know. Take, see how long it takes for me to get my slow butt over here. Okay, so we're on the cap now. You gotta make sure that we do not get spotted. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Yes, 20 seconds. Definitely gotta be careful. Let me go take cover behind this crummy. Well, I mean, not behind him, but... Okay, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Okay, we did, we won, okay. That's good. I thought we were about to get, like, shot last second. But, thank you guys for watching this match. I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, we are in the countdown phase of our next match. Yes. Looks like the map wants me to go... Okay, sorry. Looks like the match wants me to go to the left. But you know what? I think we're gonna... No, no. We're gonna, we're gonna camp. Still haven't taken this off, I think. I think I do enjoy this. Just a little bit of diversity when I do get this game mode. I think I'm starting to enjoy it just a little bit. Even when I'm on the attacking side. But I think we're going to camp the camping hill over here. Of camping hill. You know, camping hill, that camping hill where everybody just camps. You know, camping. Uh, okay. So, in another tier 6 match, this is good. Because that means I am top tier, and that makes me happy. The amazingly small death tank. The world's scariest midget tank. But I think we're going to camp a little mountain hill over here. And I do not have enough depression to sit right there, so... Use the T1 Heavy as bait kidding we're not that big of a dick but we might use him as cover since he does have more armor than us I'm pretty sure not sure though not absolutely positive but oh come on T1 heavy we didn't even scratch them penetration okay. oh that looks like that's a second shot into that stug I don't know how those two people got spotted but that's free damage for us. Looks like our team is holding up the other side pretty well. The game hasn't really started yet. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left for us to defend our base. Oh no, the LC got tracked, nearly died. And you got the Crusader rushing up the middle. You got a Chappie in the hill. Well, in like that valley in between the city and the rocks. That T1 Heavy takes damage from that Hellcat. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. Nope, we don't get a third shot into the Hellcat. Well, we did get two, so that's pretty good. It's not the best, because we could have got three, but you know, it's close enough. This T1 Heavy might, might be hurting a lot. I mean, he, he almost died, guys. The poor T1 Heavy almost died. And the Nashorn's gun got taken out. The poor, poor Nashorn. The only thing that the Nashorn needs is the gun. And that got taken out. I mean, the engine's very important, too, so you can rotate and stuff. But, you know what? It's not that... What? Did that just shoot through a house? I'm getting insanely lucky today. I don't know what it is. But that just shot through the house and into the tank. I did not even know that was possible. I thought houses stopped shots. Oh, it looks like our friend the Stug is back, ready to take some damage. Oh, 
shots. Okay, well, we tried to clear out the houses, but it, we ran out of shots. No, oh, wait, wait, we might be able to get another one in. Nope, that goes low. Oh, I thought we got that kill for a second. I saw him die, and I got very happy, and then I realized that it wasn't me. Looks like there's a Russian medium tank in there that looks like our team is going to try and take care of. No. Haven't taken any damage yet. It's like we got a chappy over here ready to die. Oh man, we're gonna kill this chappy. Target acquired. Okay, okay we do get the final shot on that chappy. This is good. It's like the Hellcat in the T34 are both on about one shot range, maybe two shots. Yeah, definitely two shots because we only do 100. And 10 damage, I think. Yeah, 110 damage. Totally know how much my gun does. But the crumb will be there. Oh, no, no, not enough depression. I think if we rush this Hellcat, we should be able to kill him. You know what we're gonna do? Nope. We just, we just bounce. Oh, wow, I got 6 damage on him. I mean, fair enough, I did get the killing bro, but only 6 damage. I mean, I'm sad now. Okay, we got the second shot on the T-34, even though we had to take a shot from him, sadly, for 88 damage. But you know what, we gotta go help our team on the other side. Hopefully, our friend Crumb, oh, yeah, hopefully the Crumb will, will go for the artillery. Oh, uh, that's not good. There's a, and we derp that shot. That. The tier, okay, that is a tier 5. I'm gonna hopefully not die. I don't know why I'm going so slow. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Let me get Okay, we're gonna hopefully be able to kill this. This Chi Nakai. He kills me. I have to get him to derp a shot. We didn't even and we died from the Hummel. But, I'm gonna see you in the next one. This is probably a loss, unless that Crumble can pull off a miracle. So I will see you guys in the next one and tell you if we won or lost this match. See you there. Okay guys, we are in the countdown phase of the third match. Sadly, we did lose that last match. The Cromwell put up a valiant fight, but later died. And then the artillery, he he tried, he really did, but he just derped all of his shots. But we won't talk about this. We are on the third match in a tier seven match. We have a Black Prince, so I think we're pretty good. All the armor we need for days. They got a T29, that is a scary tank to be fighting. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. I mean, the Challenger, the KV-3, all very dangerous. Tiger-1 also. But you know, T-29 just scares the shit out of me when I go to fight it. Not because it has the most armor, but because of that gun. 300 damage, just not not looking to fight that. When 300 damage is about half my health, that is not a fun fight. Tiger-1's got the DPM, but I'm usually dead before he can show it off. But, looks like we have only a Tiger 1 with us and a T20. VK looked like he was coming with us, but apparently he just gave up. So, don't know how well this is going to turn out. T20, I don't know how well that tank is armored. We just got spotted from the AMX 12T. Hopefully, don't get artillery. The T20 is very brave, rushing up. Never mind, he's stopped. Okay, looks like there is a. Uh, Hellcat, I just, oh, that's not even my, oh, I'll kill him. I thought I fared all three of my bullets, I couldn't see him. Sorry, not bullets, shells, sorry. Tiger 1 is just, just stopped there for some reason. I don't know why, but that Hellcat just got shredded. There is a Tiger 1 right there, that is not a fight that I want to be in. I mean, apparently he just shot the ground, because he got scared of the T-20. I mean, granted, the T20 does kind of look fearsome. A little bit, just a little bit fearsome. I don't know why the Tiger 1 is still sitting at that rock, not helping the two medium tanks up here push onto the hill. 
and we just fucking shot. And our driver just likes getting shot in this tank, apparently, because he seems to have that happen a lot. I mean, maybe it's the bad placement of the driver in the middle of the tank. Oh god, that's a KV-3. Oh god. Okay, let's try and track him. Penetration. Enemy armor is in. Penetration. Oh god, there's AG. I don't want to move, because I will die. If I go forward, I die. Penetration. Enemy armor is in. Okay, well we did, we did damage, so you know what, I'm okay with that. Oh god, take one. Okay, well I mean we did get that KV-3 killed, so I'm okay with that. This is not a good place for me to be with 200 health. That tire you one will wreck the hell out of me, so I gotta be careful. And I just took artillery fire from their spawn a little bit ago, so I gotta be careful because I will die. So will the T20. I don't know why he's being so aggressive. I mean, I, I guess it's okay. VK going backwards up the hill. Oh god. Okay, thank god they killed that. I would have died. I mean, I don't know how, what health he was at, but I probably would have died. And I take another shot from artillery. Um, I think I'll do one more gameplay for you guys since this one was kind of short. So... I'll probably judge it on the, when I'm editing this, see if it's too long or not. But I, I will see you in the next one, if there is a next one. If not, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see me suck at World of Tanks. Or basically any other FPS. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.